Good morning and welcome to Tennessee Valley this morning and uh, Kay Free, your hostess for today. And uh, Mr. Chris Free, he's sitting over here to my left. Good and morning. Uh, how are you doing this morning? Doing good, doing good. Good. Take a cup of coffee, sit down, sit back, relax, because we've got some interesting people with us today to interview. And uh, Jonathan Wagner is here with uh, Choose to be Healthy, and I think we all want to do that. And then we have Mary Beth Radford, who is Director of Nursing at Life Care Facilities. So, and this is National CNA Week. So we want to talk about that today. And uh, we've just got a lot of good stuff for you. And I know you want to be healthy and know about vitamins and minerals and what they will do for you and how, how you can apply them to your life. And anyway, uh, we're just going to talk a little bit, Chris, about about you. What about you? About me? About you. Oh, man. Uh, it's been what do good. We not know? What do I not know about you? What do you not know about me? Yes. I don't know. You're my mom, so you know quite a bit. <laughs> I, I know more than I want to tell today. That's for certain. Let's, let's say, would you think so? Just in case the children yeah, are listening. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, everything's doing good. Plenty of rain over the weekend, so the grass is nice and green and got, got to My get out and My arc is almost finished, friends. I, t I keep telling you I'm building it, and, and I think so. I think yeah, I'm getting ready to build it. Well, I got gutters cleaned out the other day, so all of that's better. So that was a lot of fun working on the gutters. Well, what you call fun and what I call fun is not the well, same thing. Well, there's a hint of sarcasm in on that one. I didn't, is I that didn't, sarcastic? Yeah, a little sarcasm in on that. Okay, and but the I, squirrels, are, are they still running around the, oh, the yeah, yard? Oh, yeah, plenty of squirrels running around. I've got chipmunks running around the yard. Found chipmunks there the other day. And and I he went out of the office, the Keller Williams office, the other day, and he, he called me back upstairs. He went I, he went down to get something out of my car, and I said, I'll go. He said, no, Mother, I'll, I'll go get it for you. And I said, okay. So he calls me, and he says, Mother, there is a huge snake right here beside of your car and he sent me a picture and I was so glad I didn't go because I probably wouldn't be sitting here this morning if I had gone <laughs> down I would have been at one of the like funeral a, homes. About a four and a half foot snake. Yeah and, and a head yeah. about like that right? Yeah. yeah it was nice picture. Yeah nice snake. And so now snake. I park my car in the same place every day and um, I'm constantly looking for. Just watch your step. I know, and every time if, if something blows up or hits my leg or something, I just almost panic because I keep thinking that snake's coming out. I am scared to death of snakes. Uh, I got a good joke I can pull later on then. <laughs> well, we, we won't go there. That's that's not very fun. But, uh, well, uh, I just let the cat out of the bag on that one, though, didn't I? Yeah, you did, so yeah, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun anymore. Chris, I want to talk to you about uh, something you do and your wife is uh, uh, Gold Canyon Candles. Yes, yeah, well, I'll help my wife on that. Yes, yes, we what, do that. What, tell us about them and how to get in touch with you and what okay. you have to offer. Well, and you know what? It's a great product. Uh, she's been in it. She brought them here uh, east of the Mississippi back in 2000. Okay. And first one's over here on this side. And uh, it's a great product. It's got, uh, they use 100% paraffin wax, like 96 different scents from... They have all natural cleaners. They have uh, the cleaners are great, and yes. and the room fragrance is wonderful. Yes, yeah, they have it's the room just a spray. Clean, yes, a spritz kind of spray. Yeah, you just can clean spray. smell. It's and good. Uh, just a great products, and uh, we do fundraisers with them, uh, and they just expanded that this year. And uh, we're getting into summertime, which would be your ball teams and those kind of things, hel holding fundraisers. And uh, they do home parties, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, it's a great product. It really is. They, they, like I said, we've been with them since 2000, and uh, the products have always been good. And, and I don't think I've have ever had Have you ever had any like, returned? Uh, not that I can remember. No, okay. no, no. Well, maybe somebody didn't like the fragrance. And we'll no, but not, but not but not due to a product or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a good uh, record. Yes, they, they do a good job. And, they and really the, do. The fundraisers are really awesome, aren't they? If they you do. have a group that you would like to have a fundraiser, call the, call Chris and Glenda because Glenda would be happy to talk to you about it. They do all the hard work. All you do is get the orders and collect the money, that's, right? That's exactly and right. And you we do the them, hard we work. We sort them out and get them all ready for them. And, when, they, uh, when you get them, they're ready to give they're to ready the purchaser. They're ready to hand out. Yes, they are. They are. And like I said, the summertime selling is coming up, and then we'll have a... Uh, you hate to say it, but you know we'll have fall and winter coming up after summer, so uh, we and have to start planning that now. And they're great to have the fundraiser before Christmas. Do what? It's great to have a fundraiser oh, before yes, Christmas yes, because before people Christmas. buy so many of them. So that's right. That's we, right. we never product. talk about these. No, we and don't. So I no, thought we don't. This morning we just kind of give you a and, little plug. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. And it, it, it's hard to find them. They used to sell them in retail stores, but they don't anymore in this area. So they have to call one of us, uh, either us, or, and uh, so that's uh, that's what we do. As a matter of fact, I dropped off. A, catalog yesterday to someone. Yeah, yeah, looking and for candles. And if you're interested in selling the candles and making some money for just yourself, they, they also they, have, it's have distributors. It's a great home-based business, yes. yes. And I think it, to start up is maybe $30. 
So Which it's, you it's can't feeling beat that. really inexpensive if yeah. you'd like to do something on your own and, and bring home a little bit of extra money. And I think everybody's looking for extra money. I oh, know yes. my sister came in the other day with a product and she said, I'm going to start selling this, you know? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. go ahead. It's, it's good. You know, I, I always believe you should have more than just one revenue of income. So that's that's a good thing. Good thought. It is. Good it is. Thought. What's our like other that. revenue of, of uh, income? Well, real estate. That's right. <laughs> the big revenue of real estate, of, right. of income, right. right? It sure is. It sure is. And uh, they've been keeping us busy lately. We've got new listings and, uh, and lots of nice listings out there. That's right. Yeah, and that's we have a house on Jesse Lane that if you're looking for land, it's about 10 acres. Mm -hmm. 10 and the acres, house is uh, over 3,000 square feet. It has a basement. It has a three-car garage. It has above ground pool, but it is made into the deck. And it's beautiful and huge deck. It's, it's great for entertaining. Oh, yeah, it's a, also, it has two or three a, level deck. a breaking horse uh, pen, pen yes. for the, for horses and a barn. Mm -hmm. So if you're and if you're looking for something like that, give us a call because it's three forty nine nine. Beautiful home, great view, has a creek runs the back of it. It's Candy's Creek, I believe. Yes, it's and, back uh, up Candy's so Creek Lane. It's a great house. So give us a call on that. And but, the yes. horses. One thing he said that was interesting because I don't do horses. I don't. I don't work with them. But he said they. I think only like two months out of the year he had to buy a hay because they yes. can feed there and they can and take, feed they, right there on the take, ten yes, acres. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's, plenty it's, of land and plenty of. Uh, and it's all usable land. Yes, so very you don't usable. have some hills and mountains and trees and all that you can't use. It's, mm -hmm. it's usable land. So give us a call on that. Also, if you saw the program uh, two weeks ago on Tuesday, uh -huh. was it? That uh, Tuesday morning, we had Ellen Smith on and she has that pin hook uh, bed and breakfast plantation. Yes. And it's for sale. So uh, don't forget about that. That's three acres and it's two hundred ninety nine nine. And it's a great thing if you want to retire and have a little bit of revenue coming in, etc. It's a bed and breakfast, three bedrooms, three baths. Plus her, plus her living area. And if you just like older homes with a lot of history behind it. A lot it. of history. Uh, it was built in the 1800s. It's one of the oldest homes in Polk County, if mm -hmm. not the oldest home in Polk County. So it's something that you might be interested in and just give us a call and, and we'd be happy to. Uh, Great views up there. Yes, it is. The view the view's awesome. She can see uh, Big Frog. I think you have Big Frog, Little Frog, them, yeah. the mountains up there yeah. and the, uh, close to the high. It's Frog Center. something, I don't the know. Big Frog, I think that is. We'll call it that. <laughs> okay, I don't get into mountains a whole lot, so it's, it's, it's you know, sometimes In the Polk County area, you get to see it. the mountains. That's it is, and it's, it's peaceful, and it's mm -hmm. quiet, and it, it's just lovely. And it's all three uh, acres is usable land, and it's part of very the yard nice. and all, so yes. it's very nice. Very nice piece But we have a lot of listings. We have Anatole listings. We have... Uh, where we else? We have English. Uh, yeah. No, we Histor don't have English folks. No, uh, we got a historic district downtown. We got two. Yeah, we have two in historic historic district. Yes, we, we have some two. land, and uh, we have several homes. One in Charleston. One in Charleston. Uh, we, there, got, we have a single wide mobile home that's on uh, right at and uh, a little less than two acres. A little less than two acres. And that would be something that's very very nice. So if you ha if you're in need of any type of, of residence, please give us a call because we can help you with condos. Uh, we can help you with multiple family. Mm -hmm. We can help you with single residence, single family, and, and also we have commercial. That's and right. uh, we have some good commercial property. Very good commercial properties. Yeah. Price right too. Price right. Give them, give them our information, Chris. You remember that much better than I do. <laughs> some days. Uh, you can reach Kay at 423-718-6967 uh, by phone, or you can reach me by phone at 423-961-8095, or you can contact us on the web at Kay at kfree.com. And me, ChrisFreeKW.com, and you can go to those websites and uh, contact us there. That's right. So, and on the website, there's a lot of good information for you. So, uh, go to the website and pull it up, and you're going to find homes of all kinds. They put in there what you need. And if you want to get in contact with us, you can do that on the website. Also, there's recipes and today's program we will have yeah, we'll have program notes and things on there uh, about that and then also i just posted uh, yesterday i posted on there about uh, uh re-landscaping your yard things about how to re-landscape to get extra uh, value I, out of your I house i need to read that don't a, i it's a very good article i know and so, so i just posted that things, up there yesterday it's not it's more than real estate you just want to get used to reading our uh, our web our web pages and see what we have on there on how to list and how to sell and all those good things but because there's an art to all of it and uh, we want to make it as easy for you as we possibly can. That's right. We're going to go to commercial and we'll be right back with Jonathan Wagner and how to be healthy. Town 
Brown Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning and with Chris and myself we have Jonathan Wagner who is with Choose to be Healthy and uh, Jonathan thank you for making time for us this thank morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. Well it's here. our pleasure and uh, you're a spitfire. <laughs> Well, I can I can keep it going for a while if I have to. That's for certain, Jonathan. It's never been said that I'm lacking for words. No, no, I don't. Not think always so. the right words, maybe, but I always have some words. Uh, so, and I always said, don't ask my opinion because I'm going to give it. To you, you know. <laughs> so if you don't want my opinion, don't ask. So well, anyway, but I, I just want to thank you for being here, and well, I thought you. you have some interesting. Uh, a product that you that you sell and a, and a line that you do and uh, I wanted the people to know about it. Absolutely, um, I'm, I'm an online store. It's called, it's called ChooseToBeHealthy.com, and uh, we're not a big store. We don't sell like a like a Vitacost or an Amazon.com, but we're really uh, uh, bound to a few products. What uh, we like to sell things that we think really work, and uh, one of them is is a product called Dr. O'Hara's Probiotics. It's a uh, it's a probiotic out of Japan. And it's the only fermented probiotic out of Japan. Uh, uh, probiotics are kind of a big thing now. Everybody's wanting to take probiotics. And okay, explain what probiotics is. Uh, probiotics, well, or pro are, which is it? Is or an well, arc? you know, like antibiotics, you take okay. antibiotics, that's against life. Probiotics okay. are for life, so okay. they're good, beneficial bacteria. Uh, the average American, average American, average human being actually has about three to four pounds in their gut, in their colon. Yes. So that's quite a bit of, of what we call lactic acid bacteria. Yes. And because of our modern diet, uh, chlorinated water, uh, it's really hard on, uh, on the bacteria in our gut. So taking a probiotics helps to replenish that, so especially if you've been on antibiotics. Antibiotics are like a little nuclear bomb going off in your gut and it, it killed a lot of the good flora. So you want to refluorigate your gut. Okay, is that something like taking acidophilus? It is. I there's, mean, I've, I've always heard of that. If you take an antibiotics, you, you must take an acidophilus that, tablets with that. That's a great question. There's pretty much three uh, forms of lactic acid bacterium. 
uh, acidabas like a milk form yogurt uh, uh, or a centrifuge or freeze dried. And that's the most common one out there. Uh, they don't need to be refrigerated. Uh, Dr. Here's is different in that it's fermented. It's the only fermented probiotics. Maybe you've heard of eating a lot of good fermented food. That's uh, like uh, certain uh, uh, coleslaw or not coleslaw, but uh, fermented okay. coleslaw. Pickles, okay. fermented pickles is loaded with lactic acid bacteria. Okay. Um, the big difference between what you would get at the, well, let's say, I don't want to pick on any stores, but uh, uh, most stores are selling a probiotic that, again, is either centrifuged or freeze-dried, and what they're selling is high-count lactic acid bacterium. You read on the box, it'll say 20 billion, 40 billion, 60 billion, 80 billion lactic acid bacterium. The problem with those is, is two things. Um, there's only a few probiotics in there, uh, f forms, one or two forms. And by the time you actually consume, that's in time of encapsulation, there may be 20, 60, 80 billion. But by the time you actually consume, it's probably about a quarter of that, okay? But then on top of that, your body, your T cells, when you take that many probiotics or lactic acid bacteria, your T cells can see those as non-self. And so what do your T cells do? They attack what your good probiotics that you're trying to put into your body, okay? With Dr. Here is it's actually, uh, because it's fermented, it's the most human-like lactic acid bacterium. So your body sees them as self, gets by the through the digestive tract, through your, uh, again, past the T cells, where it's gonna start to refluorocate uh, your intestinal tract and, and your colon. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna ask some questions, and if they're dumb, they're just dumb, because I'm-, I'm Never I'm a dumb just, question. <laughs> I'm trying to learn, and I know that, that you out uh, watching us this morning may be trying to understand all this too. Is it like a cleansing? Not at no, all. Not no, not at all. Would that, no. that, it is a strictly a probiotic. Okay. And um, uh, no, no, it's not. Okay. A, not a Do you of. take it every day? Um, Dr. Here recommends uh, one in the morning, one at night, so two a day. Okay. And they, and they come in about a, a, a 60 capsule box, so one box will last you a month. Now, if you go uh, and do an antibiotic, you want to take uh, what Dr. Here recommends, uh, it's called an uploading. You take them to take five in the morning five at night, and you do that for six days. Then you fall back to two or more a day. Okay. Uh, so. And, and they, they are so that they digest well, because a lot of vitamins mm -hmm. and things that people take, there never is, you never get any, any results mm -hmm. from them because you just pass them in the waste, right? Correct. I mean, a lot, no, because, they, even, they, even whole, they don't, they don't dissolve, what, they don't do anything. The, the, the body doesn't absorb them. The beautiful them. thing about Dr. Here is is that actually, because they're fermented, they're all live and viable. Okay. okay. And they're fermented for three years, so only the strongest lactic acid bacterium survive. So when you actually consume it, they're all live and viable. It's like a mini universe within that capsule. Okay. okay, it's enteric coated, so it's going to get through the digestive juices of your stomach, and then pass on through and get down into your colon. Oh, okay. It'll open up and, and do uh, and do and the do work it. it's supposed to that do. That is right. That okay. is right. That is right. Well, and, and do you do other types of we do uh, we vitamins sell, we, or minerals? We do. Or? We, we have about 30, 40 products, and uh, uh, we sell some vitamins. Our biggest thing is, uh, and I spoke of this with Rotary, was is type two diabetes. I sell yes. whole food nutrients. Uh, like selenium, chromium, magnesium, kind of the big guns uh, of, of, of the nutrient world that uh, we're lacking in our modern diet because of the uh, processed food that we Americans like to consume. Uh, it's nutrient deficient. Um, but uh, our, our biggest, one of our top sellers is, is a product called GTF Chromium. It is a whole food chromium. And a lot of people, if you read on the internet, you'll hear about chromium with type 2 diabetes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and really, it's an epidemic. Uh, type 2 diabetes, I think it's the second fastest growing disease in the United States today. I know. It, you, do you feel that it's part of the processed foods that we're eating or just uh, Without our diet? a doubt. I'm not a doctor. I've never well, played one on TV. Well, and I'm not either. We're, we're just but, talking. But, but absolutely. And if you have any of these things, you need to contact your doctor because we are not prescribing anything for anyone this morning. Just clarify uh, that. Absolutely. Disclaimer there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, it is the fastest growing disease. I mean, we now consume about 150 pounds. Of, the average Americans consume about 150 pounds of sugar a year. Uh, I mean, 100 years ago, we were consuming about 20. That's a problem. And on top of that, it's white sugar. So it's been refined. All the nutrients. Actually, sugar has lots of good uh, nutrients in there, but we bleach it. We and take it tastes it out. so good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I think I used to consume about 300 pounds and, a year. <laughs> and food companies know it. I know. I don't and, want to beat up, but, but it's, it's, we've gotten so addicted. I mean, you know, 
millennia ago, we were, you know, we were always looking for fat and salt and sugar. And that's pretty much what food is today. Yeah. Um, and, and, so, and the sugar, the more you eat, the more you want. Is that, that that's what I Well, understand. there's been, I could go, we could go on, I could talk to you for hours, but, know, uh, there's, but there's new studies showing that um, it's almost like cocaine. That the, it, that's the, what that I the, understand. The, the brain starts to, you know, when you have that sweetness, it's like a euphoric and it's a little bit of a high. And, and the minute you think that I'm thinking, well, give me some sugar real quick. I mean, that's where we go. Absolutely. And there's even some talk of, of where, uh, I say talk, research, uh, that it's carcinogenic. I mean, that you get the cancer cells, and what do cancer yes. feed on? Sugar. Sugar. That's and what, what are we, we're eating 150 pounds, the average American. So, uh, again, it, what, with the, with the, going back to the nutrients, it's just that our food is so depleted. And unfortunately, um, a vast majority of all our vitamins today on the market are, are synthetics. They're, they're man-made derivatives of a nutrient. I mean, most of the time you go to your doctor, your doctor's going to say, well, if you eat a really balanced diet, you're going to get all the nutrients that you need. You don't need to take a multivitamin. And that's true. But unfortunately, most people are not uh, No, we consuming. don't. We, and what we eat, the vitamins and minerals have already and, gone and out on, of them. And on top of that, a lot of uh, food that's uh, produced, the soil is already depleted of all the nutrients. And that's where you get your nutrients. And take, the plant takes them up, and that's how we get our nutrients. We can't really eat rock. I say rock, but uh, you know, that's so, pretty much what it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to be able to to absorb it, and that's the problem with a lot of not all synthetics, but a lot without really getting into uh, uh, the different nutrients. But a lot of synthetics, you're wasting your money because you're not absorbing. Uh, that's just uh, what I said a while ago. You're you're they're just going through the body, and nothing is right. nothing is staying in there for you to use in your body. A to perfect example uh, is the chromium, where I've had customers where they, they were taking the chromium picolinate, again, that's a mm -hmm. synthetic, uh, and they're type 2 diabetic, and they don't see any type of any difference. And then they get on the whole food chromium, and, it, and it, wherever you buy it from, whether it's from me or uh, you go to your local health food store, it needs to say on there, 100% whole food. If it doesn't, it's synthetic, guarantee it, because they would promote that. Uh, you're paying a little bit more, but you're paying for something that's going to work. It's a benefit. Cheaper isn't necessarily better. That's right. Um, I uh, agree with that. Uh, but we have a lot of folks who, I mean, in my own neighbor was, uh, both she and her husband, type 2 diabetes. Uh, she came to me and, and talked to me, and I said, again, I'm not a doctor. You know, you talk to your doctor about it. But uh, uh, long story short, she finally got on a protocol, the GTF chromium. She was on 1,000 milligrams of metformin daily. She's now off of it, totally. So, you know, uh, well, there are, there are things that we can do like that for different diseases, and, and uh, what we need to do is to, is to take them and... Change our and diet. That's exactly I can go on and, on and I have changed my diet, you know, and it's been awesome to, to change the diet and not eat the sugar like I used to eat. I mean, and now if I go to sugar and I eat something, a dessert or something, it's like I can't stop. Yes. I, I want to just keep eating it and eating it. And, and I have to really be careful. I was at uh, my niece's house one day for a birthday party and the birthday cake. And you know, who? most of us don't like birthday cake. I mean, usually they're dry and they're not good. That birthday cake was actually Chocolate. the most wonderful thing I had mm. ever eaten. And on my way out the door, I, I got another <laughs> bite of chocolate of the cake. You know, it was like I couldn't, I couldn't stop. Yeah, it's so a, I try not to get started on any of it Again, anymore it's, it's, every, it, it, it's hard, but um, you know, just keep it down to a minimum and, and try to eat more whole foods, whole wheat bread. Yes. Um, sugar is okay. In moderation. Fine, fine, well, yeah, but you can find, in fact, a different store sell it. If your store doesn't sell it, ask them to, to carry it. It's basically pure cane sugar, and it's not brown sugar. It, it, it almost looks dirty. And that has all the nutrients in it. You can bake with it, it's the same thing with white. Uh, it costs just a little bit more. But it has the same taste and does the Absolutely. same thing, doesn't it? Yeah, and it has the nutrients. Yes. And that's what we need to get back to. And I think it's starting to happen where people are starting to look for where their food's coming from and looking for, you know, more nutrient food as opposed to uh, processed foods. So okay, let me ask you this question. And I, and I have not talked with him very much before the program, so I don't really know what he sells and what he doesn't sell or what, he, what the product he uses. Do you do anything in weight control? With, that helps people with weight control, or is that just strictly something you don't you don't go no, into? No, I don't really can, do. The, uh, the, the chromium do. can help you with uh, with with some weight control issues. Because uh, everybody's health, wanting that these days, you know that's a big thing. Um, I, you know, I, I I try to talk to folks on the, a lot of 
people call uh, from around the country, around the world for mm -hmm. that matter, uh, and, and I'll give them my two cents. Again, I'm not a doctor, but uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not easy, but biggest thing is pushing yourself away from the table and changing your diet. There's no such thing as a diet. It, it's a lifestyle change. It is. It is. You know, and yeah. I was a fast food person. I mean, I just ate in the car all the time. I was busy and I'd just say, well, um, it's time to eat and I don't want to go eat by myself, so I'll run in here to McDonald's real quick and I'll grab it and I'll eat this hamburger and french fries going down the road. The biggest thing I have now is that when I'm out, there isn't anywhere to eat. So I carry a protein bar with me or I wait until I can get somewhere and get a salad or, or do something that I need to eat because that was my, that was my lifestyle. You know? Well, we get more people. I mean, like uh, I don't want to name stores, but uh, or yeah. fast food places. But there's, you're starting to see a menu starting to yes. slowly change. You know, where you're 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 seeing better uh, foods for and you. And good salads and good things salads, that you can. Yeah. can but get. you got to be careful with that too, because the salads. You, you oh, I'm eating a salad. Then you put the the, the dressing on it and it's loaded <laughs> with fat. You know, or sugar. So, here you go. Yeah. So. Uh, and all, all the good all the good stuff but at least it's better than having that sandwich with that grease and the meat and and french fries and I ate some french fries the other night first time I'd eaten french fries and I can't tell you when they, they were okay but it wasn't something I wanted any more of you know it was just there and uh, but it change a lifestyle changes it doesn't take you a week or two weeks they say if you can stay on it for a year you know and you're I pretty I was, much I, down the road I've, I had a gentleman who's type 2 diabetes Talk about the chromium, but you know, he, he needed to make a lifestyle change. He told me he was eating. I'm like, you know, it's pure garbage. It, you know, start off in small, small increments. You don't mm -hmm. have to just change it overnight. But you know, it's kind of like if you're going to start walking, you know, walk around the half block, then go around the whole block. Well, it's the same thing with food. Uh, you know, just keep, keep. Packing. Okay, we've got just a little bit of time left. What about soft drinks, sodas, none whatsoever? Garbage. <laughs> That's French for garbage. <laughs> so we want to limit that. Sorry, I don't want to step so, on your toes. So you advocate water. Yeah, what about coffee? Lots of water. You, well, there's studies there. There's different studies, but I, I, I'm a coffee drinker. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I never, there's, there's I never drank coffee very much until with, this year. With and I've, yeah. I've started drinking some coffee. I, I don't know why, but it kind of takes the place of the cafe, of the chocolate. I think you know oh, gives that a little bit. That's a good thing. Yeah, and that's better. But uh, so we want to drink water, we want to exercise, and we want to get lots of water. Lots of water, lots like of uh, water. someone said, a certain percentage of your body weight. Did uh, you would, go in that uh, route? Or I think or? it's you, an average. You uh, you want to drink about six fluid ounces, six, three, was it five times a day? Okay, so, okay. You know, most of us I are don't dehydrated. Like water. I don't like it at yeah, all. Yeah, but that's flushing your system. You talk about detoxifying, and that's the most that's the simplest, cost-effective way is constantly. Okay, I've had about a gallon this year. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to, yeah, I'm, I'm bad news, right? Go ahead and say it, <laughs> Jonathan. He, he can tell me I'm just bad news right now. I need to get on the water. I've changed my diet. I just haven't added the water, and I need to do that. Small increments, Kay. I know, I know. I'll do it. I'll do it. And again, you, you are where? Give us their phone Choose number. ChooseToBeHealthy.com. Uh, locally, you can call us at 423, of course, 338-7107. Again, 338-7107. Uh, be happy to uh, discuss any, any issues. Again, I'm not a doctor, but uh, I'd be happy to try to point you in the right direction if I don't sell something, uh, something that would help you. That's, that's great, and you've been awesome to come in so Thank early in the morning and be me. here. Well, it's my pleasure, and uh, his, his information will be on uh, our website, and that's kfree.com uh, and chrisfreekw.com. You got it right. So either one of those, you're going to be able to pick up his information. Thank you, Jonathan, and I hope you get a lot of calls. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, and we'll be right back in just a moment with Beth uh, Radford, uh, Director of Nursing at Life Care. Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. 
So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Hi, and welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning. And uh, Chris and I have Mary Beth Radford, who is Director of Nursing at the College Dale Life Care Center. And yes. uh, thank you for being here well, so early this morning, Mary Beth. Used to be up early. I, I, <laughs> you do, and you're up all night. And we were yes. talking to her the other night, and she said, I'm on call 24 seven, so my phone rings all night. If you need me through the night, just call, I answer, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. That's, yes. that's the way it goes. And I, I said something that I shouldn't have said while ago. I said that she was uh, a Bulldoa, but she's really in College Dale. So that's my mistake that I did. The other thing is, it is not CNA week this week, but it starts next week and they've started celebrating it this week. So we I'll get all that clarified before I, I get going this morning with you. Yes. But uh, You've been a nurse for how long, Mary Beth? Twelve years now. Twelve years. <clears throat> Best and thing I ever did. I, I was going to say, <laughs> I've never seen anyone that loves a profession any more than she loves being a nurse. I do love being a nurse. I love caring for people and being there when they're in their time of need. And it's always, um, no matter, even if you're having elective surgeries or you've had a fall or something, um, it's considered like a crisis for people. And there's a big change, and uh, I like being there to help pick up the pieces and get them back on track. And I can say she's excellent caretaker. Thank you. You do. You you are you are a servant <laughs> at heart, and uh, and I've never seen anyone that that absolutely loves it better than you do. Well, thank you. I enjoy it. We have a great staff at Life Care, and uh, we we do a lot of uh, rehabilitation now. That is the big um, thing. You know, people need therapies in order to be able to get back to their prior functioning level before an incident or before an illness hits them. So it's, it's always um, great to see people progress and, and what we say graduate from therapy. So yes. it's a lot of fun to watch that process. And it's fun to graduate from therapy. It is. I, I have had that experience so yes. I, I, a couple of times. So I, I, that was a great, a great thing when you feel like that you have done the best you can do and that's as far as you can go pretty much and there you go. Yeah, but, it, but when you need it, it's awesome. It is. And, it, you know, it's, it's, it hits people at different times of their lives, and, and things usually are unexpected. I mean, there are a few times people, you know, have elective surgeries, but most of the times, you know, you don't see CVAs coming, which is a stroke, um, you know, heart attack, that they may need some cardiac rehab, uh, maybe a fall that has caused a fracture. So it's interesting to... Uh, to be there to help them and get back going with their therapy. And then there's other medical complications that come along with that and we're able to treat a person holistically. Now, your facility, is it a long-term facility? Um, we are a duly certified facility. Okay. Uh, our big focus is uh, 
you know, rehab, rehabilitation, short-term stay. But okay. yes, we do have some long-term care And you residents. have an awesome rehabilitation area. We do. I, I toured the building uh, yes. what, about three weeks ago, I guess, yes. or so. And uh, it is beautiful. It's been completely refurbished, and, and it looks like a brand-new building. It is a gorgeous building, and um, it's, it's a great atmosphere. We have a lot of fun there. We get to know people. They become our family. And, uh, you know, we, a lot of times we'll have a little reunion where we bring people back that have successfully completed therapy, and they get back together and talk about their successes, and that's always a great thing. Yes. Well, at my age, I've been looking over these facilities, and all <laughs> I never know when Chris might have to just... Uh, uh, put me in at any time, right, Chris? Well, they have, and they have those all over the nation too. <laughs> you know, I know, and we, we, no, we talk I'm about we talk about this a lot. Kidding. The house I moved into recently, he looked at it, and, he, and I said, "Chris, what do you think about the house?" And he said, "Well, mother, it's it's really, really great. It has a sunroom on the back of it, and my sister lives with me. We live we two old maids or two widows <laughs> that we live there alone. But anyway, he." Uh, he said, it will work. I can get two hospital beds in the sunroom. <laughs> so he was looking ahead to see what he could do for us. And uh, so we laugh about that a lot. But hey, you never know. But right. I, I, you do have a, an awesome facility. Thank you. And speaking of, of homes and, and getting homes ready, one of the services that we offer is a home evaluation. So when a, uh, a resident has come in and, and they're getting close to being ready to graduate from rehabilitation, our therapists will actually go out to your home and look around and look at the environment and look at different things to maybe that would set you up for a better, um, safer transition at home. And, and, and also home care is available. There, we have a very good continuum of services to meet the needs. And we're getting more and more home care services, aren't we? We're getting into that phase of, of uh, health care We are now than what we used to have. We are, and a lot of people are going home instead of facilities. But you don't want to ever discount um, considering a facility, even if it's just for a very short period of time, you know, 14 days, 21 days. Uh, it's a good benefit. It, it actually increases, um, or I should say decreases the risk of a reoccurrence, say of a fall or that kind of thing. So we have some neat balance testing that we can do. Um, and you just started a new program you were telling me about. Uh, lymphedema therapy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is with the uh, lymph nodes and... and yes. The... When peop, um, it's a filtering type yes. system, lymph nodes are. And when um, there's a malfunction in that, there are some things that can be done therapy-wise to reduce that um, fluid that's building up. And, and it's usually in an extremity. So. And is that something that you go as an outpatient? Yes, we do outpatient and inpatient for that okay. particular therapy. Okay. We also have speech therapy, and you know it's a great service as well. It's so fun to watch a patient who comes into our facility, NPO, or cannot have anything by mouth, and then they're able to advance to eating a regular diet like you and I do before they leave. What a great experience that is, and we have some great um, therapists on staff that help us with that. Well, and you have a great, uh, uh, well, I I was going to say dessert maker, but I, I don't need to go to desserts, do we, after we just We do. Our, we have a baker. Sugar. Yes, Emily's our we, baker, and she's excellent, and she does some great cupcakes and some muffins and different things, and she and is... she does it for the diabetic also, right? She absolutely does. We service all diet Had to get types. that in real quick. Yes. Jonathan is yes. still here in the studio <laughs> watching me talk about sugar. Yes. So, I, you know, make me But, do, you know, aware. we have a really wide variety of things available. Um, and, you know, everything's customer service oriented. We have flat screen TVs. We have private rooms available. Yes, and most of your rooms are private rooms, right? Most or Not most, but a good, a okay, good well, portion. Okay, what I saw were mostly yes. private rooms. On our skilled wing, it is all oh, private okay. rooms, yes, and private bathrooms and showers, yes. which is very nice. If, you know, it's kind of like being at home. I thought or about checking in for a week or something. You yes, know? <laughs> you're welcome to do that. <laughs> Medicare won't pay for me going to a hotel, but they might pay for me checking in to, to the if facility. If you meet all the guidelines, long. yes. Yeah, yeah, if I can meet the guidelines. And age-wise, I could. Let's yes, see. you could. But anyway, but it's... She does, and uh, nursing, what made you go into nursing? Because you didn't go till after you were married and had children. Yes, I was in my 30s when I graduated from nursing school. Um, I had wanted to be a nurse since I was five years old. Uh, to be honest, the cap was probably the thing when I was five that was interesting. I thought interesting. you might bring your cap today. I, I thought about wearing, wearing my cap time. today. But it is a lot of fun, and I've always admired um, people. I was in the hospital as a child with pneumonia once and was so uh, intrigued by the nursing staff, and probably at that point their uniform. 
but I watched how they cared for you know me as a child and and growing up I have a lot of brothers and sisters and many of us had hospital visits and just watching them care for people there were women in my church that were nurses and I was just inspired and I and I think nursing's a calling I think it's something that comes oh, from the too. heart and and um, people who usually have what they consider an excellent nurse it's it's usually their calling so well, it has to be because that's not where my calling would be. <laughs> you know, I'd probably just stick my head in the door and say, hey, you doing okay? Okay, I'll see you later. And I'd be on down to the next one. I don't have enough patience to sit and, and take care of somebody. But you do. I've watched you Thank take you. care of people. And I, I have seen you work. And, and it's it's really awesome well, to do that. Well, thank you. But you... Uh, as soon as you graduate, well, while you were in school, you worked at a hospital. I did. I was um, what they considered a patient care tech, which is technically a CNA without certification. Um, it is a nursing assistant. And I have to give high praise to my nursing assistants at Life Care of College Dale. They work very, very hard. They are 100% at the bedside all the time. Um, and we could not do this without them. The, the hard work that they do... Uh, they have a lot of endurance and strength, and I, I just commend them for choosing that as a career. And, and I did work as a CNA prior to and during my nursing career, and I learned so much just being around the nurses and, uh, you know, just hearing even just the language of healthcare. I learned so much going through the different phases of nursing, and it's, it's really helped me become the leader that I am today. So. And you have been director of nursing. You have been the director of the facility, right? Yes, Before. I'm the director of nursing um, now, but, here. Uh -huh. I also worked for Life Care in Ohio because we are a nationwide company. Yes. And I worked for, for a facility there. The really neat thing about Life Care is the standardization across the country. You know, that we have policies and procedures that hold us accountable to, you know, making sure that we are taking the best care of our residents. And, and it's enjoyable. I mean, every day there's always something new going on. You meet new people every week. You get to know families and you become part of their family. It, it's a great experience. Well, I, uh, in my experience with work, having my mother and my yes. husband in, in a facility mm -hmm. from, uh, at two different times, and you, you are, they are your family. They are. They are your, your hands and your, and your mouth because you don't usually talk to the doctor very much. You, you re, uh, correspond with and, and yes. communicate with the nurses staff. Absolutely, yes. And that's who, that's who you care, that's who you want to take care of you and give you those comforting words and give you what you want to hear. And in, and in the lowest times, uh, you want that, you want that compassion there. Absolutely, and you want um, you want a nurse who's willing to sit at your bedside if you're having you know a moment of anxiety or um, you know people can experience depression when they're going through illness that kind of thing, and you know just holding someone's hand and being there for them, giving them a hug, offering just support. It's not always about giving them their medicine, you know, and and of course we help with um, all the physical things, the activities of daily living, but it's being there for them and being there for their families on the other end of the phone saying, mom's okay, we're, you know, we're going to take good care of this, this is what's happening, you know. So just really being in good communication with them is so important. And our CNAs do that at the bedside so much more even than our, you know, nurses do. And, and nurses are on the units all the time too, but they're at that bedside constant. But there's more CNAs than there are nurses. Uh, yes, in our setting. Yes, 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 in our setting there so, is. So they're the ones that are going to have hands-on more Absolutely. than you. Absolutely. And they get, they really build really close relationships with, yes. with their residents. They do. I, I know when yeah. my mother was in a facility and uh, we were there day and night for several days and, and a month or so. And we they we just knew them all. We knew about their families. We Absolutely. knew about their children. We knew all about them. And if they didn't yes. come in a certain day, we'd say, well, this is so-and-so's day to come in. Where is she today? Right. So you really get to know these people and you, and you feel comfortable with them and you want that kind of relationship. And uh, I know that's what you give them because I've been around you too long to know <laughs> that that's the kind of person you are. Thank you. I, I enjoy what I do. It's you never go home at night, you know. I never don't want to go back the next day. I, it, it really is um, such rewarding work. And to help people in their time of need, no matter what area, you know, of, of the building they live in, it's it's a blessing to us as well to get to be part of their lives. And most of them, some of them are at the end of their lives. Yes. So. Yeah. Well, uh, tell me what the fun part do you do in your life? I know it's not at the nursing at oh, the, the nursing it's not facilities, being a nurse. but but what is your fun time? My, I love to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that 
was coming out, and you have it. You you've done a I recording. Do. I have a recording out. It's called Your Grace. Um, really, some songs that minister to me to, at a hard time of my life, and I've been able to share those with um, people in in my line of work um, that are going through difficult times. So that's been a great experience and a great ministry for me. I also love to cook. You know that. Yes, she loves to cook. She <laughs> brought dinner to to my to her mother in law, who is my sister. Yes, and me uh, Sunday, which was very very delicious and very Thank good, you. and and I was so appreciative and still am. Well, Thank you're you very welcome. much. You're welcome. I enjoy cooking and entertaining people. I'm from a large family and really love being with people. I'm not a person who likes to be alone too much, so it, it's it's great. There's too. always a party at your house. There's always a party going on. That's right. <laughs> she does, and I'm telling you, she can cook like I've Thank never you. seen you cook. And and also, she sang at the corporate Life Care corporate meeting. At our annual director of nurses meeting this year, I was able, um, I appreciate the invitation from the corporate office to sing there, and I enjoyed that very much. Yes, it was a good experience. So she's, she's well, well versified in, in many, many areas. I know you're active in your church. Very active. Sing on praise team there. Um, have helped with some children's things in the past. Um, kids camps. Grace Community Church is an excellent church. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll give Kevin Mendel a yes, little plug, a little plug here today. This morning. Yes. How about that, Kevin, yes. if you're watching? We'll just give you that, <laughs> that little yes. plug. But um, you have two sons. I do. Jordan and, and they're Josh. still home. They are. <laughs> Failure to launch. <laughs> We were talking the other day, and she said it's time. You know, they're twenty in their twenties. It's time for them to just move on. Yes. But uh, you know how it is. Sometimes kids stay home for a long time. Well, they like the cooking. I, I, well, I can imagine. I can imagine when you when your laundry's done in three three meals a day. Yes. That's pretty good. Or well, I say good. two meals a day. Yes, that's pretty good. But uh, I just want to thank you for being here, Mary Beth. Well, I want to thank you for what you do for people and the heart that you have to serve and. Thank uh, you. Uh, it's awesome if all nurses and all CNAs were like you. We, it would be a wonderful world, but I know you're doing what you're supposed to do, and I know you, you do what you love. Yes. And I thank you so much for giving up your time and coming sure. today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, you're welcome. And we'll have her information on the website also, and that's kfree.com and Chris. KW.com. Yeah. So uh, we'll be right back in just a minute, and Chris and I will close out the program for today. But we'll be right back after this commercial. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you for having me. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Donald for Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast. Phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga.
For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley. Tennessee Valley this morning. Got to look at Wake up, up, Chris. Uh, it's well, early, but you, you have to I, wake up. You know what? I cut up. out coffee and I just haven't got over it yet. <laughs> I don't think yet. I need to uh, need to start back up. Maybe maybe I can do that. I've had. I, I was trying to think. I hadn't had any. Have you not had I any had coffee, coffee this morning? Well, no, I, well, I haven't. I've had coffee for months. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, well that, that's decaf. your problem. I've had a little bit of decaf, and that's about it. So well, that's your but, problem. Uh, I know. I need to start back up maybe for a little while. Okay. Anyways, but that well, you uh, know, these are not to, I guess. Just stick with, I'll just have to uh, incorporate some danishes in on that. We just got through talking about sugar, Chris. You can get sugar-free danishes. Okay. They're White very, flour? Well, <laughs> I'll have to deal with that. I just, mom will have to work on his, his <laughs> diet also, on my diet. you know. This well, you is, know what? They were talking about diet. And uh, I heard someone say one time, if, it, if, it was, if it's in a box or it comes through a window, it's not food. And okay. that makes if you have to go through a drive-thru and it comes through the window, it's not food. Okay. And I thought that's a pretty good... Jonathan is still in the studio, yeah, and he, he has given us the okay that that's that, true. Yeah. If, it, if it comes through a window, because that, that's McDonald's and all of the, and I don't want to pick out any names, but that's not that I don't go through McDonald's every so often. You're, you're getting in deeper, so you need to cut that loose. You need to, need to, need to go on another route. Yeah, we just route. need to go somewhere else on that. And yeah. Mary Beth was great to have her, and Life Care has a great dining facility there. We can just talk about food all day. And, uh, well, just don't talk about the rooms <laughs> and where you're, where you're going to take me to, okay? No, that's no, the, we won't do thing. that. But no, even it, but we appreciate both of our guests today. They did a great job. You know, they, they were both here this morning talking to us, and now Chris is going to put me on a really strict diet, and he's going <laughs> to buy me a room at Life Care in, in uh, College Dale. So i got a lot to look forward but it's to. it's a nice right facility. Away. It's a nice facility. It I agree. Nice if facility. I have to go somewhere, that uh, would yes, be a good place be, for me to go. That would be a place to go. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, but yeah, it, we've got a great week coming up this week. I think nice weather up till the end of the week, don't we? I don't I think ask, so. Do I look like the weather man? Well, I think we do. Uh, we got nice weather up till I think Thursday. Is that a weather map behind us? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. But we'll just we'll just keep that as, as uh, what the weather should be like. Okay. Does that okay. be okay? Yeah, that's and, good. Uh, but yeah, you hey, can. Hey, I'm getting used to the rain. It's well, not a big deal anymore. Yeah, I have umbrellas sure have and raincoats in my car, so it, it's, sure it, it isn't umbrella. a big deal anymore. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure you have your umbrella and ready to go. Yeah, I just I don't want to mess my hair up. But, <laughs> you know, kind of one of those things. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't, don't know how that works. <laughs> no, yours stays the same all the time. It's, no, it's pretty not much a big the deal. same. I but uh, we'll have show notes and everything on the website for everybody, and uh, with information, links, and everything to uh, our guests that were here today. And, and have those there, and you can, and she did good. You got both websites right, kfree.com or chrisfreekw.com. Yeah, and, and you can call uh, me at 718-6967. Well, and you can call me at 423-961-8095. Yeah, I and had people that ask me if I knew my own phone number. Yeah, I know. It's just that he can, he does I just it already have well, that so ready to go, and it's ready to go numbers. out. So Yeah. It's, uh, but we'll have all those links and everything on the website. And if you and, need a realtor, you want to call Chris or call me. Both of us will be able to to help and assist you in whatever you need to buy or need to sell or need to. Well, I was going to say rent, but we don't do much rent. No. But we also do commercial, and uh, Chris does commercial, and and well, uh, yeah, we're we're good with that. that. That's that's a and there's lots of commercial here in town. Yes, there is. There's a lot of Cleveland's things. growing. It, it very much so. It sure is. And uh, the the uh, inventory for homes is getting smaller and smaller. So if you're looking for a house, you need to start getting something done uh, as soon as you can. Uh -huh. My phone keeps ringing in my ear, and, and I'm not ready to answer it yet. So we'll just have to hang up for a it's second. It's going to be a busy, and gonna be a busy day. But uh, life is wonderful. Life is good. And uh, we're ready to assist you in any real estate you might have. Um, anything else we need to talk about today? Well, you What's know What's on what? your mind, son? What's on my mind? Yes. Well, you know what? The kids are ready to go swimming. Oh, I'm so sure. The I'm water sure. will warm up a little bit. I'm sure the water's still kind of cold. So I know. We don't have a pool at the house, so we. Oh, you know, I feel so sorry for you. No, I don't. I, that's okay. That's that's work. I know. That's a lot. That's I got enough yard work to take care of. I don't want to have to take care of a pool too. I know. So and, and and where do you go, First Baptist? Oh, go over to First Baptist pool. It's nice. It's nice and yeah. quiet over there, and the kids get to play. We don't go all the time, but enough to let them play and get get tan. Get tan. And they and, get tan and, on the first day. That's you know. Get tan, and uh, Oliver will enjoy it this year. He's a little older. He's five now so he'll really get to enjoy it this year yes and uh, oliver so is the one that likes contact sports oh yes he likes fencing he likes wrestling and he likes boxing 
He like he likes it on. He wants to hit. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's, the he, contact sport is, he is what that. he likes. Yes, he likes that. And soccer coming up this fall. I think registration for soccer at First Baptist is going on right now. Well, for I'd soccer. say you need to get him over yes, there. Yes, yes, we got to get over there and get that done. So for uh, coming up this fall, they're already starting the registration for that. I got Life to, is just it moves fast. When you get my age, it just moves fast and no, every we're day and faster every year. talking about things coming up this fall, and it's I mean it gets here before we have to start I know, planning I was, now for those I was things. Kind of moving my Christmas tree around yesterday. Is that a little early? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I listen, to, I listen to Christmas music all year long. So, <laughs> I listen, yes. one, uh, There was one year that, well, several years, I left my Christmas tree up for, what, about four years? Yes. In the living room. Yes. It just looked so great and it matched everything. And, and why so, take it down? It, that's right. It just messes it up when you take them down. So I, le- I left them up. Well, I, I, I left it up. I always have Christmas music on my iPod. It looked a little vacant. My room did when I took the tree down, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looked different. It looked different. It wasn't the <laughs> It same. really did. Everybody laughed. It was a conversational piece anyway. Yes, people it, liked you it. Know. And it was, it was pretty And cool. with me, it was, it was okay because they never know what I'm going to do anyway. So I always kind of live on the edge, right? That's right. That's right. Have I always done that? No. No, not always. Is it something that's happened as I get older? Um, maybe. See, I'm, I'm very diplomatic about that, aren't I? Yeah, but you don't good. need to be. Well, no, 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 you're doing good. Okay. Doing I keep good. asking him, Chris, have I repeated myself? And he said, no, but you have asked me that about four or five <laughs> times. And I, you know, he, I think you're joking, aren't I'm you? I'm joking, yes, Okay, I'm I'll joking. take it as a joke and not yes, for real. no, 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 we just joke with you. I know, and it's fun. It's wonderful working with my son. I enjoy it very much. We enjoy real estate. And uh, we're so glad that you came to be with us today. And... Uh, we're looking for a great week, and I hope you're looking for a great week. And next m- Tuesday, we will be on again on Tuesday morning. We do it the first three Tuesdays of each month. Mm-hmm. So if you have someone or you have something that you'd like to share with us on uh, on the television program, contact us. Uh, you have our number and you have our websites. And get in t- touch with us, and we'll try to get you scheduled on something, especially yeah. if it's have uh, an event community. coming up or Yes, any event. events that you have or so forth. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, that's what we do. You you carry on for another about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. You can come by our website. We'll do it one more time, three times a charm, at www.chrisfreekw.com or kfree.com. Or you can reach us online at 423-961-8095. That's my number, 423-718-6967. That's Kay's number. Yes. And uh, go have some... <laughs> decaf what? coffee and some fruit for breakfast if that's you haven't right. yet. and we want to thank mary beth <laughs> radford from uh, the uh, college dale life care for being with us today and sharing uh about the the facility there and also jonathan wagner in choose to be healthy and he gave us a lot of food for thought let me tell you, you did and we've already started discussing that haven't we? we sure have i know thank you for being here and we look forward to seeing you on the next tuesday morning thank you bye-bye